What is up, YouTube? My name is Couch on Twenty Twenty Four, and today we are coming to you to do something a little bit different. Uh, as you may notice, <laughs> this is already a heap tons different. Uh, we are actually on the PC instead of the PS4, and I wanted to do a little video on something. Uh, I've seen people do it, and I wanted to be one of them. Uh, there's this game, and it's called Beam and G Drive, and if you're very familiar with it, you will know what it is. And what it really is, is it's a vehicle crash testing simulation game, and it takes a lot of power. And I'm not much of a PC person, so I don't know my things between GPU and RAM and shit like that. But, <clears throat> all I know is I have a very, very shitty PC, so whoever watches this, please don't ask me what my specs are. And I'm not going to know what the hell your specs are either. But uh, I'm just going to try and show you how to run BeamNG somewhat nice on a very low-end PC. I mean, this thing is almost a decade old. And so, And when I watch other people do it, they think these people have like 8 gigs of RAM and shit. I have 4, so this is... I don't know if RAM really does a good part on this or whatnot. Like I said, I'm not much of a PC person. So let's just stop talking and get right into this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first... Open uh, Beam and G Drive, of course. I play on the 32-bit version, by the way, because my uh, computer can't run the 64-bit version, so that means certain maps and shit won't be able to run and stuff. And I did some things to get this game. Because so. <laughs> it's, it's a very low build. It's the alpha version, for Christ's sake. Okay. So right off the bat, uh, I'm going to show you how shitty my computer really is. I mean, look at that. It's already lagging within the fucking menu, so I mean, that's already pretty bad enough. And the map, I think, that we're going to do this is probably Small Island USA is probably what I'm going to prefer to do this on. Because, like I said, I can't load certain maps without the 64-bit version of the game, and this is basically really the only map that works that has, like, trees and vegetation and shit like that. I mean, of course, the red map works, and the template map works as well, but... You know, I don't want to always constantly want to play on a fucking grid map. I'd like to play on the natural map. <coughs> Sorry for the coughing, guys. Remember, like I said in the last couple of videos ago, that uh, we were uh, <coughs> <coughs> catching a cold or some shit. I, I really don't know what it is. Okay, so uh, let me just tell you right now, right off the bat, uh, everything is the lowest settings. I swear everything is at the lowest of settings, so every texture, every everything is at the lowest of everything, and look at this, it's still, it still hasn't even loaded the truck yet, okay, so now we're getting there, I mean, holy crap, <laughs> I mean, it's playable, I mean, if you, if you want to deal with something like this, I mean, it is playable, I mean, that's, it's playable, this is, it's, it's gonna get, <laughs> So, yeah, let's just, like I said, uh, since this is an earlier version of the game, I don't think I have certain options that I've seen some people's versions have. Wow, see, see this is how very slow it is. Okay. So, yeah, see, everything overall quality is the lowest. I don't know what the maximum of that is. See, I don't know that shit. But I turned all of this stuff off because I fi figured that it would probably give me the better shit. But right off the bat, everyone's just going to go, well, lower the resolution. Well, no shit, Artard, I know to lower the resolution, and I will show you that I can lower it as m low as possible, and the game will still, see, I mean, there we go, we got a little bit of a difference right there, but the game is still completely laggy, and it is completely almost unplayable to me, still. So, what I'm going to show you instead is this. So, we're going to go into the vehicles menu. We're going to remove the current vehicle, so, you know, we're kind of like the no clipish free zone thingy, my bobber. So here we have the whole entire map, as it's laggy as can be. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to open up the world editor, and I can't remember which button that is, so I'm going to just figure it out here myself. Okay, it's F9, just to let you guys know. <laughs> I, I knew it was one of those. My first button was F11. Okay, so uh, first of all, we're going to do... Is we're gonna go to editors. We're just gonna go to object editor, mission group. Oop, my bad. And we're gonna completely just remove the fucking vegetation. Just, co just completely remove it. I mean, that's that's one thing that's really heavily affecting me. This is gonna make the game look really odd. 
but I took out the water because it also leaves something out for me, so it makes the game look a little bit odd, just to let you know. Uh, I took out birds, waves, I mean the sky and the sun, I took out the clouds, uh, we'll just take out the water in general, uh, roads, we'll just completely take out decals of roads, and here's even more decals, so we'll just take our sweet little time to just... And I know I'm not gonna just sit here forever and take out everything, but we'll just remove all of those. Now that almost itself almost probably would be good. I mean see look how many decals there still are, so that'll just take forever to do. I'll wait for that. Static objects. So these are like, you know, your buildings and shit like that. So I'll just, just remove those too. Uh I think the game actually might be good to run. So let's see the difference now. Okay, so let's jump back into the normal game. Actually, instead of hitting F, I just it just hit play level. Okay, so I was trying to do that, and it wouldn't let me leave. So I mean, see, you can already tell a little bit with the free cam that there's a little bit of a difference right there. So let's just get the truck back out. I don't care what series it is, it can just be anyone that it wants. Okay. Oh jeez. So you guys remember... Okay, maybe we should have picked a little bit of a better spot than that, because that was not a good spot whatsoever. That was not a good spot. Okay, so it's like, like somewhere over here. Now the game is in a little, little jinkity with, you know, no water and trees and vegetation like that. Fuck it, let's just go with this. And it's a lot odder, but as you can tell, I mean, there's still somewhat frame damage, but the game is a lot better now, and I can actually. Yeah, I'll completely play it. Oh, and if you guys want to know what happens if you drive off in the ocean, uh, just to finish this video off with something funny, I guess. Uh, basically, what happens when you drive off of the ocean is nothing. Absolutely nothing happens. It's all a basic little grid map still all out here. But if you do go back, yeah, you'll just collide through the ground. And then you'll just warp your ass way back up. Uh, well, there you go, guys. Uh, like I said, I am not a good person to do this type of shit on the PC with, so please do not ask me to do, like, other games for this. I just wanted to do this one because I figured this out myself, and I wanted to help out the community just in case that people wanted to really play this game, and they, they have a shitty computer and they don't have the money. I really feel you guys, so please follow this if this did help you. If this did really help you out, don't forget to hit that like, comment, and subscribe buttons. And I will make sure to, I don't know, maybe put more video tutorials of some games out there if I figure out how to make them better on my shitty ass PC. But, uh, oh, and I'm not trying to go for uh, low spec gamer either, by the way. I was just wanting to do this for a little fun because I don't even think he had a, a little video tutorial on how to do this. And I think the people that I have watched video tutorials that have done this game they literally just lower all the resolution and disable anti-aliasing off and all that and then their game runs fucking smooth well that's not the case for me so i did all of that but the game runs perfectly fine now so if you guys like this like i said earlier i'm kind of rambling on i know don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more videos and i hope you guys have a fantastic day and i hope you're actually finally able to play this game like i was peace guys